evaluate the integral of dz over z square plus 4 whole square over the circle C, where C is a circle mod of z minus iota is equal to 2. Now here in this circle, we are having the center as iota and the radius is 2. Right? Okay. If you notice that this denominator can be written as z plus 2 iota into z minus 2 iota whole square. Fine? Okay. Then we have to check after putting denominator equal to 0, what points we are getting. So on putting the denominator equal to 0, we are getting the points as z equal to plus 2 iota and z equal to negative 2 iota. Right. Then we have to check which point is lying inside the circle. But for that first we have to draw the circle. Right. Okay. Then we always take the numerator as our fz. But if among these two factors, the point which does not lie inside the circle, we have to take that factor also along with our fz. So we will see what our fz could be. Right. Okay. Let's start with the solution. Because the circle is given to us z minus iota equal to 2, so we have to take the center as iota with radius 2. Let's first consider the denominator. So this denominator is equal to 1 over z plus 2 iota into z minus 2 iota whole square. Right? So clearly this integrand is analytic everywhere except z equal to plus minus 2 iota. Now we need to check among these two points which point is lying inside the circle. So for that let's draw the circle. Okay. So iota is the center. So taking this iota to be as the center with radius 2. So taking 1 and the 2 units from here up to this and taking 1 and 2 units from here up to this and drawing the circle. So this is our circle. And we have noticed that z equal to plus 2 iota is lying inside the circle and z equal to negative 2 iota lies outside the circle, right? And the factor for which the point is lying outside the circle, we have to take that factor along with our fz. So fz becomes 1 over z plus 2 iota whole square. Because for this factor, we are getting z equal to negative 2 iota that is lying outside the circle. Right? Okay. So, let's move further on. So, z equal to negative 2 iota lies outside the circle. z equal to plus 2 iota lies inside the circle. So, we are taking our fz to be as 1 over z plus 2 iota whole square. Which can also be written as z plus 2 iota the power minus 2. So the derivative of fz is minus 2 into z plus 2 iota the power minus 3. And the derivative of here z is 1. So which is equal to minus 2 z plus 2 iota the power minus 3. And the derivative of fz at z equal to 2 iota is equal to just put z equal to 2 iota over here. So we get minus 2 into 2 iota plus 2 iota the power minus 3. That is equal to minus 2 into 4 iota the power minus 3 which is equal to minus 2 over this is 16 into 4 that is 64 iota cube. So this is further equal to I know that iota square is negative 1 so that will be cancelled out with this negative sign. This 2 will go by. Okay, so this is 32. So this is equal to 1 over 32 iota. Right. So since fz is analytic inside and on the circle and the point z equal to 2 iota lies inside the circle. So we are going to apply the Cauchy's integral formula for this point. And so we are going to apply the Cauchy's integral formula for this point. And the given integral can be written as dz over z plus 2 iota into z minus 2 iota whole square and writing 1 over z plus 2 iota whole square as our fz. So in the denominator we are having just z minus 2 iota whole square 
and then applying the Cauchy's integral formula. So the Cauchy's integral formula is integral of f z over z minus z naught the power n dz over the circle c this is equal to yes 2 pi iota into n minus 1 at the derivative of fz at z naught divided by n minus 1 factorial right so if you relate the formula with this step you will notice that your n is 2 right so here n is equal to 2 and the point z naught is 2 iota z naught equal to 2 iota right so this is equal to 2 pi iota into into n minus 1 th derivative that is 2 minus 1 that is the first derivative. So first derivative of fz at z equal to z naught where z naught is 2 iota here divided by n minus 1 factorial that is n is 2 so 2 minus 1 factorial that is 1 factorial which is 1 only right. So this is equal to 2 pi iota and we have already calculated this value. So taking this value that is 1 over 32 iota and putting over here. So this is 1 over 32 iota, right? So this iota will go and this 2 will go by 16. So this is equal to pi over 16, which is the required solution. <laughs>